Hi everyone, uh, today I thought I'm gonna try my first ever uh, bullet stream and in addition to it being my only bullet stream uh, it's gonna be a blindfold bullet stream um, to make it extra uh, difficult. Um, some messages before we start um, since I've never done a bullet stream, uh, let alone blindfold, um, I honestly don't know how it's going to work. Um, so um, if I don't talk too much, it's simply because I'm kind of busy concentrating uh, on the board. Um, yeah, uh, some some notes on the chess.com uh, blindfold um, functionality. Um, you can now see my mouse hovering over um, squares without pieces. Uh, it actually changes its appearance when it goes to a square uh, with a piece. Um, in my opinion, that's a bug. Uh, and, and I've told chess.com about it and they are looking into it. Uh, but for the purposes of uh, bullet chess, um, it's actually quite a useful cheat uh, in terms of uh, quickly finding out where the pieces are. Uh, so I, I don't think it should be there, but as long as it is, I'm going to exploit it uh, to the fullest extent. Um, do I want to say something else? Yeah. Uh, you may see that I have uh, created uh, a new uh, chess.com account uh, for blindfold play only. Uh, this is something I asked for permission about and got. Uh, so um, this uh, account, uh, I just, I'm not a very creative person. I googled a synonym for blind and put my own name uh, afterwards uh, but, but anyway it's my blindfold account and I've been playing a lot of um, blindfold chess at chess.com the last couple of days uh, training games before my blindfold battle against uh, Danny Ranch uh, earlier this week uh, and I've been practicing my blindfold bullet uh, I didn't want to just start without practicing um so i've actually managed to get a 2200 rating playing blindfold bullet and you know if i told you that before we started i wouldn't believe it myself um but you'll see that i, I kind of got the hang of it uh, after a while uh another thing i've been having a lot of mouse slips uh, so if I do quit in anger and start breaking things, it may be because um, I lost a game because of a mouse slip. Um, so yeah, um, that's. Um, I think that was the messages I, I wanted to do first. And I think let's just get to it. Um, yeah, you'll see. It's uh, tricky stuff. Um, Question from Mirinho, do both players play blindfolded or is it just you? Um, as far as I know, uh, it's just me playing blindfolded. Um, but you never know. Uh, yeah, no, 99.9% .9 sure I'm the only one playing blindfolded. But suddenly, you know, Danny Wrench is practicing his blindfold bullet and that might be the 0.1% that... Uh, is also trying the same thing. So yeah, let's just um, get going. I'm slightly nervous, uh, but I managed pretty well um, up to now. So let's hope it continues. Uh, I, I am pre-moving. Uh, okay, I already lost the position. Okay, I need to speed up. Uh, and I have another mouse slip. I have no idea where his pieces are. 
I had a mouse slip and then I lost track of the position. I have some idea where my pieces are. Uh, I have no idea where his are. Um, so let's hope he makes a lot of moves with all his pieces because I'm actually going to need him to move them in order just to find out where they are. Um, I'm, I have a good idea where my pieces are. Uh, so that's the good news. Um, no idea where his are. Uh, I, I suspect he has a knight on b3, yeah. Um, I don't think I'm doing very well, but... Um, I, I'm not down any pieces. Yeah, um, I'm getting low on time. Um, and I'm having trouble making my moves. Uh, why can't I take that rook? Yeah, no, that was, oh, and there went the bishop. Okay, now I, I got tricked up by by the um, by the I made a bad a mouse slip at the beginning and then it kind of messed up my entire game and I was doing well there at some point but the silly interface wouldn't let me do the rook exchange uh, it's actually yeah I lost on time Yeah, long moves. I mean, those moves where you have to go seven squares, incredibly tricky. So, yeah. Okay, let's do another one. If I end up now doing so well in my practice run and then losing all my games when going for it, that would be quite disastrous, but... Okay, let's not start whining already after one loss. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, so another unfortunate thing there I'm playing quickly um, I don't remember where my knight is um, not entirely sure where my pieces are yeah you may have noticed I cheated there going with my uh, <laughs> with my uh, with my mouse to check out where all the pieces were it's not entirely by the book but okay now it's going pretty well i'm a pawn up i don't remember where my queen is it's here um it's um oh sh did i just blunder something no okay he's low on time but other than that he's oh my bishop my bishop. Um, now I know just about where my pieces are uh, and what I'm gonna do is a very cynical thing I'm just I'm gonna flag him um, I know where some of my pieces are uh, most of them I have no idea uh, and I'm just gonna move around those pieces I do know where are until he loses some time Oh, oh, it's check. It was check. It was check. No wonder how it was not working. Okay, if I just avoid checkmate now. Oh God. Okay, yeah, that was that was pretty close. Okay, he checked me. That I lost ten seconds on that. Uh, BJ says, 
BJH says uh, cynical flagging is the most legit way to win uh, and I flagged him uh, so yeah it's a legit win according to uh, the settings uh, you go uh, to play blindfolded you go on settings um, and then you choose the type of piece you can choose classical you can choose wood and, and one of the options is uh, the pieces uh, blindfold um, so that's how you do it on chess.com at least uh, I'm sure other servers have different methods okay I, I remember where my pieces are but I have no idea where his are um, and I honestly I don't remember which pieces we exchanged yeah okay that's good he moved his bishop, so I know that I know where the pieces are. And he's gonna exchange, and I'm gonna exchange, and we're gonna have a very equal bishop endgame. And well, basically, the fewer pieces on the board, uh, the simpler for me. Uh, so I'm a, a reasonable fan of uh, players um, exchanging pieces. Uh, because it really makes it easier for me um, so um, so I'm very happy every time there's some kind of a end game um, yeah but having said that this looks uh, quite equal uh, let's try to trick him no he, he didn't fall for that one uh, he did fall for that one um, but I'm low on time I'm low on time uh, I'm getting a lot of these pieces now I'm gonna queen this one because it's not stalemate and then I'm gonna checkmate him on g1. Okay, two one. Two wins, uh, one unfortunate loss. I'm gonna say that the, the one loss was, uh, it was a mouse slip. It really ruined my concentration and I'm gonna blame it on that. Uh, I'm, I'm playing short moves with my bishop in the opening. Uh, it's a uh, time saving uh, measure. Okay, this opening did not go very well. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Let's play this position type uh, and hope for the best. I may get checkmated on h4. Uh, I'm really hoping I don't. Um, uh, and also I don't officially don't remember where my pieces are anymore unfortunately um, okay so far so good uh, uh, let's break um, I have a bishop somewhere here that's a good one let's play this one if I win this it's just a, ma a masterpiece I mean I, I swear this is just so far I'm playing fantastically I suspect uh, I have no idea where his pieces are um, but I know where my pieces are which is kind of kind of good um, to be honest I thought I was giving him a check um, there with uh, with uh, where's my rook uh, where's my other rook oh, I'm going on time uh, oh okay where's my where's my rook ah here it was yeah I found it a bit too late I think oh oh that was my king actually I thought I found my rook in h1. It was my king. 
Okay, but he was pretty good. He was pretty good. Okay, one more. Actually, the um, the black games are much tougher, I think, than the white games, because the white games I get some space uh, for my pieces, and then I kind of I kind of I'm it's easier to keep track of uh, where all the guys are, uh, whereas my black games are um, it's trickier, simply. Uh, so far so good. I know where all the pieces are. That was not a good move. That was not a good move either. Why can't I take the rook on f1? <sighs> yeah, for, for some reason, sometimes I know I, I have a legal move and it just won't let me do it. Uh, and because of that, I completely lost track of all my pieces. Why are you not letting me play my rook to... That rook could go to b8, right? I'm not hallucinating that, right? Oh no, there's something here. Yeah. No, if you lose track of your own pieces, it's game over. If you lose track of your opponent's pieces, it's trouble. Uh, if you lose track of your own pieces, it's just, there's nothing to do. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty tragic game. I, have, I, I think I have a pawn somewhere, but I don't know where. Yeah, this was not as much fun as I thought it would be. Chess Ninja wants a rematch. Um, yeah, okay. Let's uh, take this guy down with the white pieces. Okay, I know where my pieces are, and I know where his pieces are. That's uh, really some accomplishment in my book. Except, of course, for stepping right into that move. Yeah. Well, I know I can take on d7. So just let me. Okay, I'm trying to trick him. It might actually work. It did work. But not well enough. Ah, yeah. I actually managed to trick him. Wow. Wow, this is pretty sick. I'm winning. Oh, please don't be a pawn on h5. Yeah. I was winning and I blended it away. Oh, God. That was, that was poor. There's nothing else to say.
Oh, that was good. Yeah, okay. White pieces, much easier. Much, much easier. Yeah, this is a bit more intense than I actually had expected. Um, yeah, that was a pretty sick game. Uh, my goal for the Rilton Cup is um, I'm playing Rilton Cup in Stockholm uh, over Christmas. I won it two times in a row uh, the previous years. And my goal is to win it again. Uh, and before that, I hope to play a bit more one min chess. Hopefully keeping track of my pieces. I think I know where all my pieces are and I'm crushing him on time. I mean, I'm completely killing him on time. And now I get to exchange off lots of pieces on the D file, keeping control. I mean, also, I mean, yeah, I'm exchanging pieces, but also I'm I'm actually much better on the board. I'm outplaying him as well. Oh, damn. yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I blundered a pawn. I blundered a pawn, and more importantly, now I don't remember where my pieces are. Okay, I remember where my pieces are. That's good. I don't really know where his pieces are, but I'm going to flag him. I'm going to flag him. I have no shame. Uh, he might give a check. No. Uh, let's close off this. Um, and let's just flag him. Cynical, but clever. Uh, I might get checkmated, actually. That would be pretty sick. Um, no, no. Ah, oh, okay. I won on time. <sighs> okay, rematch. Now, black, much more difficult, I think, because I'm having trouble getting my pieces in the center, and then stuff just happens. This could be interesting. Um, I remember where his pieces are. Uh, not so much my own. Uh, I have an idea where my king is and I'm not liking it. Um, okay, I lost a pawn there. That's not good. I'm exchanging queens with a pawn down. That's not good either. Um, Let's get some pieces out. Uh, I think there's a pawn on d5. That one I would really like to take. Um, okay, knight f7 at some point could be awkward. And I don't really want to take on g5. But now I'm just getting checkmated. So I'm going to have to take that one and go here. And well, this is just desperate, really trying to hold on. Uh, can I cannot take that one? Of oh, I could take that one. That was not a good move, I think, from him. Um, but I'm really low on time, and it's 
tricky to say the least uh, getting the pieces out I'm not sure how best to flag him I might have to just hope. oh this is good that was actually pretty random but that really get my where's my king ah there's my king The point is that it doesn't really matter whether I'm blindfolded because he can see the board and he can see the threats I'm making. I'm just making some random moves with my rook because I know where my rook is and he can see what I'm threatening. So even though I have absolutely no intention of going aggressive with my rook, I'm actually making him think for a little bit uh, because he, he doesn't know I'm playing blindfold, so he doesn't know I have no idea what I'm threatening. Yeah, that was pretty cool, actually. Anyone keeping score uh, as for how we're doing uh, for the session? Well, we'll do another one. We'll do another one. Ah, messed up on third move already. That's tough. That cost a lot of time. Okay, he's playing a bit too slow. I may have tricked him. Reconnecting, it says. Let's pre-move and hope for the best. Um, the flag I um, I put on was uh, the Cayman Islands. Um, I may have to change to Norway at the moment since I revealed my identity. But um, for the moment, it's uh, Caymanese. Can you say that? Okay. Um, yeah, he he disconnected, so he lost tons of time. And if I don't manage to win this one, um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm gonna beat him on time, and I'm gonna well, I'm gonna pretend to beat him at, over the board as well. He could take my pawn on c2, and I don't really have a good response to that, but um, it doesn't matter because he disconnected, so. Basically, I was going to win whatever I did. Okay, so I got my pawn in the center. That's good. Uh, I don't know this opening. That's not so good. Uh, let's uh, go for this aggressively defending my pawn hoping uh, to just win with the pawn up um, I think this is the line forcing white to do something about this uh, d4 pawn and now he's not doing very well Uh, theoretical lines in general is very good for me because then I have some hope of just you know freestyling uh, essentially oh I probably should not have allowed that move okay this is gonna be risky uh, I shouldn't pre-move that I'm, I think he's gonna play it but I shouldn't pre-move it regardless okay this is this is gonna be interesting I'm not getting checkmated. I'm almost, almost definitely sure I'm not getting checkmated. Uh, okay, that was not good. Oh, shit. I thought his queen was on g3. I thought I was forking his king and queen. And instead, I just let him take one of my pieces with the check. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I'm just gonna... Pray, I think. Yeah, not even that is going to help me at the moment. Um, it might. Oh, 
Oh, he, he offered a queen exchange. Oh my god. He offered a queen exchange. Oh, I could have exchanged queens. I would have won that game. Oh, I never thought he, won he would want to exchange queens. <sighs> that was actually close. That was close. Uh, yeah, I almost won that one. It was it was interesting that my king got into some trouble. I think. I don't think that would be an overstatement. But he was so low on time. I got the option to exchange queens. Had I done so, you know, I I think I would have won the game. Oh, mouse slip. Yeah, my main problem with mouse slips is that I completely forget where all the pieces are. Uh, so I, you know, I just lose, lose control. And now I'm playing too slow as well. He's just flagging me. A very efficient technique. Unfortunately. Um, okay, but this is not too bad. Uh, I know where my pieces are. I have no idea where his pieces are, uh, unfortunately. But that's kind of less of a problem. As long as he's uh, taking moves, uh, thinking for his moves, um, I should be uh, reasonably okay. That was maybe not a genius move. Uh, okay. I'm not sure... About, yeah, that was not a good move. Okay, so I lost some material, but I'm still alive. I'm still alive, and I'm breathing. Wait, can I take that one? Oh yeah, I could. That was strange. Okay, let's do another one. So far, so good. I, I think actually I'm in plus. I, I think I'm... Um, I think I'm actually winning more games than I'm losing. Uh, I started out the session with a 2200 bullet rating and I was really proud of that and I've actually managed to increase uh, the lead. So that's... I think that's pretty good. Um, theoretical line, so far so good. Um, if I just remember where the pieces are, uh, let's go G4, F5. Sounds like the right way of coping with this uh, position. Um, yeah, I'm kind of cheating now. You can see me moving the mouse around, seeing that I have pieces on g4, f4, e3, d2, all of these squares. I don't remember where my light squared bishop is. And apparently it's not letting me move. So I had a massive time advantage and I lost it. Um... Okay, and I lost track of my queen. I don't know where my queen is. I don't know where my bishop is. Um, yeah, my light scored bishop should be here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what piece is this on. Yeah. Yeah, I I lost track. I'm afraid. I completely lost track. I don't know. Where's my queen? Maybe my queen is on e2? Um, where's the queen? Ah, oh, no. That was a rook. Well, let's move the rook around for a bit. I don't know where my queen is. 
I don't know where any of my pieces are. Yeah. Mm, yeah. What to do, what to do. What to do. Well, I, I, I gotta go back there. I, I wanna see where my queen was. Oh, done. <laughs> okay, that that was that was not good. That was yeah, no, that was not good. I I got I I fumbled at some point where he spent like ten seconds on a move, and I thought I was gonna win the game, but then I didn't manage to make a move. I, well, I mean either because it, I was trying to make illegal moves or the software was kind of messing with me. So, yeah, tough loss. This is the guy I beat twice already. Let's see if we can make it three times. Uh, not at this speed, I think we can already safely say. Um, to be fair, I, I don't remember where my queen is. No, where my knight is. Uh, again. That was maybe not a very good move. Okay, I think I know where the pieces are now. Uh, but unfortunately, as a consequence, I don't like my position. Uh, okay, this should be fine, no? Um, okay, fine is maybe an exaggeration, but I'm fighting fighting for my survival yeah and i mean it looked like a really dangerous spot for me and uh, so he started thinking and uh, it kind of bought me some time to get into the game uh because it's uh it was tricky for him to figure out how Ah, oh, I forgot about that one again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could have just protected that pawn. It wouldn't have cost me anything to do so. Okay, I got it back. Uh, of course, I mouse slipped once. Once is fine. Twice is not fine. Um. Okay, that was, I think, generous of him. I need to get my pawns going. Wait, he has two rooks! Are you kidding me? No, he has just one rook. I just lost track of where he was putting it. Uh, exchanges? Yeah, I like that. I need to speed up. Uh, and I think we're gonna say bye-bye to those pawns. And just hope to flag him, essentially. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, that was close. I blamed the software. I think I had the right square for my rook and I was trying to move it. Ah, no. I was trying to, yeah, no. Ah, uh, that was close. Okay, one more. Um, I don't think it's bugs. I, I think it's about my technique for moving the pieces varying between clicking the square it's going from and the square it's going to. Uh, and, and, and it doesn't cope with suddenly changing from the clicking technique to the moving technique. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's it. Danny laughing? Yeah, probably. No, actually, I don't think so. Uh, he, he was talking about that he wanted to do a blindfold 
uh, bullet session. Uh, what does he call it? He has a special name for his bullet brawl. Um, and um, and yeah, I, I think he said he was going to do a blindfold bullet brawl. Uh, so that's pretty... That's pretty... Um, why am I not getting a new game? Yeah, let's go. Oh, and also, I mean, I'm missing the squares, right? I mean... A little misclick and you're just in huge trouble. I got a central pawn and I'm occupying the the center with my pawns. This is looking good so far. I know where his pieces are, I know where my pieces are, and he's spending time. Especially the him spending time part uh, is very good uh, because I have a tendency of getting flagged pretty bad. Um, blindfolded. I don't get flagged normally, of course. Um, yeah, bishop c5. I saw that trick. Uh, saving my knight. And now playing on the e-file. Uh, this is, I mean, I'm crushing him. Poor guy. Uh, actually, my first blindfold game, I lost. I, I lost to a... a, a 1200 rated player uh, my first game and then I won like 20 in a row uh, so that was don't don't discount the the low rated ones uh, this is nice I'm gonna take there I'm gonna take there I'm gonna give a check yeah and another good thing is the guys don't know I'm playing blindfolded so they have no idea that that I, I, I that playing on could be a good good strategy. I think the rook was hanging on e1, but the thing is, if I play queen takes e1, if it's protected, it's pretty bad. Probably I would have taken with the rook just to be on the safe side. Uh, let's do another one. Uh, okay, white game. I like those. I feel like we take the initiative uh, early on. Oh, c3. That was a mouse slip. Again. Um, yeah. Um, no, f3. Are you kidding me? I was trying to play my knight out. Oh, cr crikey. Yeah, okay. This game went bad pretty quickly. Uh, every time I was trying to move my knight, I ended up moving my pawns. That's never a good sign. Uh, okay, let's try to castle queen side. Um, yeah, okay, that's not going to happen anymore. I have a vague idea where his pieces are. I do have an idea where my pieces are. Oh, and he's being childish. Knight d4 was a trick. Uh, I didn't fall for that one. Uh, I, but I might fall for the next trick he he tries, tries out. I'm going to try a trick of my own. I'm just going to... I'm going to threaten checkmate. How do you feel about that? Are you kidding me? He actually went for it. And it's not checkmate. Um, yeah, so that was sad. I don't think it's checkmate. Does he have a bishop on e7? Oh, he does! It was checkmate! Wow. Wow. That's so sick. And once again, I mean, yeah. It's kind of cheating, right? Because now I was I was marking my mouse over the, the E7 square. Uh, and the mouse changes its appearance. So that I know something is there. So, yeah. 
But I mean, I, I, I got to be allowed to have one trick up my sleeve. Don't tell them later that you're blindfolded, says uh, Tom. Uh, and um, yeah, I think they might figure out when I post this um, this uh, video on um, on YouTube. Okay, let's do one more. Let's occupy the center with pawns and see what happens. Okay, he's trying an exchange strategy. That's my favorite uh, because every time they exchange a piece, I have less stuff to keep track of. And there you see me trying to click my way through the long, the long moves, being afraid of a mouse slip, and it, I just end up messing up everything. Okay, that was not a very good move. So I'm completely winning, uh, but that doesn't mean I'm going to win this game uh, because there are some issues in terms of time. But I mean, I'm two pawns up at this point. Ah, now I'm just one pawn up. Uh, he managed to trick himself out of that one. Now I'm just gonna pre-move. I have a lot of s very safe squares. Ah, come on. He just put his knight so that I could take it and yeah. Are you kidding me? Didn't he have a king on g2? Ah, no. Okay. Yeah, one more. Rematch. This is Naka's opening. He played it against me in Blitz many times. Uh, but I think it should be fine. I feel I'm fine. I remember where the pieces are. I'm gonna go on the offensive. Uh, but so is he. Okay, now I don't remember where the pieces are. I think I have a very bad bishop on b2. That's unfortunate. Is it just me or can I take this pawn on g4? I, I don't have I don't have the guts to take that one where's his queen probably on d7 and now his pawn is hanging on a7 bishop g5 pawn hanging right that's gotta hurt and now next move, I'm going to go knight e5. No, I'm going to take... Okay, I'll do this. Um, discovered attack, no? Ooh, I'm having so good control over the pieces now. And now just get the rook to the a file. Yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, that's not good. Okay, now I don't remember. I, I don't know where his pieces are. Okay, but that's good. Yeah, now the thing, I forgot where my pawn was, so I got confused. I, I might have been mated if he had gone for the back rank mate.
Okay, B5. Um, let's protect this one. Um, and move this one. So far, so good, I think. It's looking good. Um, I have a much better position. Uh, I'm winning a pawn. And most magnificently, I remember where the pieces are. This is going to be a good one. I remember everything. Okay, that was not a good move. Um, nor was that. Okay, but he took it. That was good news. And I'm going to take that one. And I'm going to queen my pawn. And I'm going to run and run and run. Oh, darn! I thought he didn't have any more pawns. Uh, okay, let's first check if you have a pawn there, pawn there, and then let's go. <laughs> Ooh, he got that one. I don't know where my pieces are. Well, more importantly, I don't know where his pieces are. Oh, I haven't. Okay, I think I have an idea now. Oh. Yeah, that went pretty bad pretty quickly, huh? Yeah, that, that's not pretty. Okay, I, I think I was in full control at some point and then I was just rushing with my passed pawn and it turned out it was not a passed pawn. Um, yeah, it was not a passed pawn. We can re rewind uh, to see that. Um, to see that. Because, I, I, yeah, I was playing a really magnificent game here. And up until this point, where I did not understand that the pawn on b2 was here. And I played c3. Yeah. No, b4, b4 and then c3 and it would have been a great game. But we flagged him. And somebody was saying that flagging is a very legit way to win a game of chess. So there's that. Let's um, let's do another one. Let's do another one. I'm up at twenty-two fifty-eight. That's um, a new record, I think. And much because I'm beating this poor guy. 3-0 so far. Um, let's protect that one. Okay, this time I'm just going to gambit this pawn as quickly as possible. Oh, and now he's in huge trouble already. Yeah, and I got that one. I'm getting. Yeah, so I have a big material advantage. And the question is how to stop his A pawn. I let his A pawn become, let's say, stronger than it should have been uh, allowed. Actually, I can go here, no? I've had that option for so many moves. Check, 95, checkmate, 
Actually, he has queen f8. I hope he resigns. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what to do on queen. Queen f8. Okay, I'll give a check and I'll take this pawn on f5. Okay, he resigned. That's good news. Uh, rematch? Yes, please. Yeah, a win is a win, uh, says the commenters. Uh, and you are, of course, completely right. Uh, it's bullet. Time is part of the game. Okay, I, I think I have a very good position. My knight on a commanding square on c4. Um, yeah, but my bishop is not very good, is it? Uh, my bishop is is poor. I think there's no other way of putting it. And now I gave him a passed pawn. That was generous of me. I'm in a very Christmassy mood. And I'm playing too slow. Uh, bishop c6, possible. Uh, let's... Oof. Yeah, that might be what kills me. I'm blocking a passed pawn on the 7th rank with the queen. So my queen is completely immobilized. And uh, yeah, I would like to say I'm hanging on by a thread, but uh, I'm not really, am I? Queen h6 seems to win a queen. Queen h7 wins the queen. That was just about the only thing he could do that didn't win instantly. And why am I trying to exchange queens? Uh, I shouldn't be exchanging queens. I'm a pawn down, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, he still doesn't want to. I think I'm a pawn down. I swear, I, I, I don't understand why he's not exchanging queens. I, I'm reasonably sure I'm a pawn down. No! Oh my god! He left his queen. I could have taken his queen. I assumed that he would protect his queen. He he, he could have checkmated me and instead he chose to take my queen and, and then he lost. Wow. Queen c8 was checkmate. Wow. That was... yeah. Uh, Ember says that when you are able to do this, you know you have entered God mode or played chess too much. Um, I'm hoping it's the first one, uh, but I suspect it's the second one. Um, I wasn't, I was not a pawn down. That's why he didn't want to go to the, to the pawn ending, because I had the possibility of getting a, a passed pawn on the queen side. Of course, I'm commenting on this, and you may have noticed already. Yeah, yeah, you did notice. Arkan Tosan is saying that you were not a pawn down. Um, but yeah, so I mean, the fact that they have all of this information um, kind of helps me out because they are um, they are trying to protect against the threats. Sometimes I don't even know that I have. Yeah, eventually I, I was a pawn down. Yeah, I, eventually I was a queen down. It, it didn't stop me. And also, I mean, the last move, king g8, I, I took, I, I, it took some time before I realized he took my queen. So, I, I don't know, I think he should have been able to pre-move the, the checkmate in one. Okay. 2273 can we make 2300 
I think it's going to be incredibly difficult. Um, but we're going to try. I might go on for a maximum half an hour more. Uh, a question from, I'm, I'm going to try to cancel this new one minute. No, I can't. Question from Chess uh, Tudor, no, Holder. Uh, do you think being a better blindfold player will improve your regular chess skills? And, well, the question, the answer is yes. Or so I'm hoping. Uh, I, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think that blindfold chess could uh, improve uh, parts of your game. Uh, especially calculating where you are essentially playing blindfold, although just uh, five moves ahead. But it's all about visualizing uh, the position that's going to come some moves later. And uh, that's what it's all about. Okay, C4 was not good. Um, this guy is playing so fast. So fast. And I lost a pawn. But I, I have some compensation. Um, and also this pawn on C4, my, I might be able to uh, get a hold of it. But he's playing so fast. I mean, I have no chance with that speed. Okay, he might sacrifice a piece now. Uh, I'm kind of glad he didn't do that. Uh, but it doesn't help me much, does it? When I'm playing slow. Okay. Uh, so far, so good, actually. Uh, I'm alive. Uh, but I have no idea where my pieces are. Unfortunately. Um... I do think I'm losing a pawn somewhere and then getting it back somewhere else. Ooh, this is going to be a really tricky pawn ending, a pawn down. No, a rook ending, sorry. A pawn down. Now I'm not a pawn down. Now I'm almost checkmating him. Uh, I'm not going to take a draw. Come on, dude. I still got a chance to flag you. Yeah. Ah, I shouldn't have given that pawn back. I, I actually would have flagged him without a problem. I mean, effortlessly. I think he was up. I. I think it was up like five seconds. <sighs> he was up like five seconds. I just assumed that he managed to... Yeah. I could have flagged him. That was close. Okay, E4, a Sicilian. Those are tough. Complicated blindfold games. And I'm just happy to know where my pieces are. And I think I do. So I'm pretty happy. Next move. Knight d5. Coming up. with a small structural advantage. And now h4, h5. And those I'm not gonna fall for. You gotta be trickier than that to fool me today. Uh, yeah, K4, 
Okay. That one I can take now. Oh, this is now I'm playing good. And I know where the pieces are. Bishop e5, bishop takes d6. And also I'm winning on time. Okay, he did have queen d7. I don't know what to do there, but I, I would have flagged him. That was a good game. Very good game. 2300, can we make it? It's a rematch from our the guy I kind of acted like a jerk to, uh, trying to flag him, and a completely drawing pawn ending after he had been crushing me uh, before that. Uh, so he's probably not too happy with my uh, manners, and I would have to agree with the guy. It was not very nice of me, but there you have it. Now, it would be really nice if you could go for a fork. Uh, go for some kind of... Okay, that was nice. I get to castle. That was overly um, nice of him. I don't quite remember where my pieces are, um, but I have some idea because we're exchanging down to an ending and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm three pawns up. Well, I'm not three pawns up because he just took a pawn. Uh, so there's that. And now there goes another pawn. No, okay, this is me cheating again. There's no pawn on c3. I assume there was, um, but there was not. Uh, okay, that one is gonna hurt. And that's checkmate, no? That's good, very good. That's very good. Uh, question from our Kanto-san. Uh, what do you think is harder uh, for bullet blindfold? Playing against these 2200s or just playing 1800s who doesn't know much about theory and don't make so common moves out of the opening? Um, I think the better ones are more tricky, mostly because they are so much faster. Uh, so if you go to my game archive for Unseeing Hammer, my uh, blindfold account, uh, you can see that uh, I, I, I worked my way up to 2200 uh, through playing a lot of 18, 1900s. Uh, and, um, and, um, yeah, I mean, I, I managed. I, I lost a couple of games, of course, but um, but it's trickier to play the guys who play really, really well, really quickly. Okay, it's this opening again, but this time I remember what he plays. So I'm ready to uh, face it, uh, and I'm ready to play accordingly. Okay, so this is going to be a really closed off queenside game, and there are so many pieces on the board, uh, so I'm in huge trouble, uh, because I have no chance of remembering where all the pieces are. Um, so I'm just, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm going to have to hope that he loses on time or something. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm just going to close it off. 
and cynically offer a draw. Uh, yeah, because I have no idea where my pieces are. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. He could have flagged me so easily. And I, I, here's me trying to flag him in a completely equal pawn ending earlier. Yeah, okay, but um, it worked. He accepted the draw. I offered a draw and he accepted. That's within the, the rules of chess. Uh, I think my opposition might be much tougher also when they realize I'm playing blindfolded. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to get a single resignation uh, or a single um, uh, mer no mercy after that. Um, yeah. Frankly, I don't remember where the pieces are. But Okay, now I do actually. That was not a good move from him. I think I have a bishop. Okay, I do not have a bishop. But it says I have a piece on d7. How can that not be a bishop? And not a knight? And not... <laughs> I've spent 20 seconds trying to move whatever piece I have on d7. I tried moving it like a knight. I tried moving it like a bishop, and look what happened. I lost on time. Um, he He's moving around on a bishop and two rooks. I blundered something there. Um, but I feel like I should have one more piece somewhere. Um, I have no idea where it is, though. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to go back. I'm going to have to zoom back on that. Whatever happened. Oh. Christ. I was trying to play bishop takes on g4 i was trying to take this one yeah okay so the, it was a bishop on t7 i was right about that um yeah but i, I should have moved on i should have I, I i spent 20 seconds trying to move that bishop yeah that's a tough one I guess uh, my chances of making 2300 was just, yeah. Bishop blocked by a knight, I'm getting in the Twitch chat. That was unfortunate, I think I would say. Um, let's do 15 more minutes, see if I can break uh, 2300. The Scotch Gambit, uh, the Danish Gambit, even. But these Danes are not so good. Okay, this might be slightly risky. Okay, it was very risky. Ooh, Queen A4, check. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. Not good. Yeah, and he got that check as well. He's paying attention. Playing his gambits. Okay, so I'm going to create a safe haven for my king. I'm not going to go for this checkmate. That's a bit too childish. Um, yeah, about that safe haven. Didn't really work out that well, did it? I didn't manage to create a fortress for my king, and now I'm getting losing my queen as well. Yeah, that's a shame. 
and rook e8 next move. I cannot stop. And it's checkmate. Yeah. Okay. 2300 is looking like it's a bit of a stretch. Um, but, um, yeah, it's fun. No, it's not really fun. It's not, no, it's never fun to lose. It's never fun to lose if you feel like you lose on a technicality. Uh, although thinking there's a bishop on d7, being right about that, and just not realizing that it was the knight that was the issue, I don't believe that qualifies as a technicality. And also I need to concentrate because I just blundered into... I blundered a pawn and it's almost game over already. I really hope there's not a pawn on b2. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got some counterplay. Actually, I got a ton of counterplay. Let's trap this bishop. Uh, let's take this bishop. If now only I could get my uh, knight into play. Okay, we're not going to do a draw. Uh, we're going to try to win this. Um, but I need to get my knight into the game. Ah, I decided to try to win the game and then I spent all my time. Um, uh, oh, come on, move. There, I trapped his rook. He blundered his rook. Oh, please resign. Come on. Be a gentleman. Uh, shit. Where's my king? Uh, where's my rook? Uh, where's my... Was that my bishop? Or knight? Where's my pieces? Let's move my rook. Okay, I, I know where my rook is. I know where my king is. Uh, where's my rook? Oh. I got him to blunder his rook, and then I kind of lost track. Yeah. This is a really good one, almost 2400. But he's playing theory, and I like that. Theoretical lines, I approve very much. Because I have a vague idea where the pieces are. And this is looking quite dangerous, I think, for him. Can I take that? Okay, he's basically daring me to checkmate him. Uh, and I'm not gonna manage, but I don't care because I might trick him in another way. Yeah, okay, this is tense. This is really tense. Ah, oh, he took with the king, that's Good defending. Um, ah. ah, I got his queen, I think. Oh my god! Oh, that was a fantastic game. Fantastic game. Rematch. Yes, please. 
this can be my guy helping me to stardom and 2300 he's playing all these theoretical moves um okay that was not very clever <laughs> yeah yeah okay yeah that was not good let's go for the checkmate attack Uh, this could actually be quite dangerous for him. I think I got, I think what I would call bullet compensation. And now queen e4 and take the knight on. Um, and take the knight. I'm playing fantastically. Uh, I don't really know where the pieces are. But I think, I th think I have some idea. Uh, it was slightly annoying that I let him get this rook so into play. And he, he mouse slipped. He mouse slipped and I win again. Fantastic. 2-0. And we're going to do a repeat of this line, which is number one, good for white. Number two, easy to play. And number three, okay, uh, that move, I don't know. Uh, okay, this didn't go as planned. I think I did something wrong. Okay, but now we're attacking again. Uh, attacking, attacking, uh, retreating, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Uh, F4. I do not understand that move. Okay, he's trying to trick me. Is there a bishop here? Yeah, it is. There is. Is there something here? Yeah. Okay, but let's just roll the dice. If I only could remember. Uh, I think I remember where the pieces are, but I'm not entirely sure. If I could only get my queen into play. Ah, darn. I fell for that one. I'm pretty close to getting something here, no? Yeah, drawing this would be, I think, too much of a miracle. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. Okay, I, no, but this is too funny, no? This is too funny. Oh, poor guy. Oh, poor guy. Oh, crying. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I, I think. Wow. Yeah, I, I think we're. I think. I think we're gonna end it there. I think that's the ultimate spot uh, for ending tonight's uh, first ever, or my first ever uh, blindfold uh, blindfold bullet uh, games. Um. Yeah, I'm going through the chat, uh, see if there are some some questions uh, I missed. Uh, doesn't seem like it. 
Uh, any questions before I go? Um, and unless we have some questions, I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I'm sure I'll do this uh, sometime again. I had lots of fun. And until next time. Bye.